Hi, boys and girls. Today I'm going to go over how to add several two digit numbers. So, this is part of lesson 19 that you're working on this week. I know you did a warm up on Monday or the first day that you're doing math. This is the next step. So, this is going to go along with the work that you're doing in the fluency activities and the center activities. And I'm going to go along with you. The boss man was hiding some sweet gems in his junk drawers. Check out these stickers. Stickerific. I found 31 of them in this drawer. I've got 14 stickers, and Jake found 23 before he left for band practice. What's the total number of stickers? Let's see here. Some of the stickers are in packs. Each pack has 10 stickers. The rest of the stickers are not in packs. They are single stickers. Let's look at the packs of stickers first. How many stickers are there in all of the packs? Well, let's see, boys and girls. They told us that there are 10 stickers in each pack. This reminds me of a place value block along a 10. So I'm going to count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to type 60. Yep. There are 60 stickers in all of the packs. 60 here in my packs. I have 8 here in my singles. So 60 plus 8 is what, everybody? 68. Sweet. There are 68 stickers in all. Did you see what we just did? Yeah, we figured out how many stickers Jake has been collecting. Yep. But... We did that by adding three two-digit numbers together, 31, 14, and 23. You're right, and all we had to do was break apart each number into tens and ones. That's called writing a number in expanded form. It makes it easier for us to add. First, we add the tens. 30 plus 10 plus 20 is 60. And then we add the ones. 1 plus 4 plus 3 is 8. Finally, we add the 10s and the 1s. 60 plus 8 is 68. We found 68 stickers. I think we've lost, sweetie. together. I need to add 27, 14, 23, and 35. Let's write each number in expanded form. I'll get you started. 27 written in expanded form is 20 plus 7. 14 written in expanded form is 10 plus 4. Let me help with the other numbers. Write 23 in expanded form. 23 is equal to 20 plus what number? So if we have 23 broken down into expanded form, we have 20 plus what numbers in our ones column? Three. Yep. Now write 35 in expanded form. 35 is equal to what number plus 5? So they gave us the 1s first. We have to figure out the 10s. Well, how many 10s does 35 have? 
it has three tens, which is equal to 30. Right, a roo. All four numbers are written in expanded form. Now what? Now we're ready to start adding. Since we can add in any order, let's group the tens together and group the ones together. <coughs> add the tens, then add the ones. All right, boys and girls, let's see. 20 plus 10 is 30. 30 plus 20 is 50. 50 plus 30 is what? 80. Now we come over to the ones. Seven plus four plus three plus five. I notice I found a group of tens. Seven plus three is 10. 10 plus four is 14. 14 plus five gives me 19. Sweet. Add 80 and 19 to find the sum. All right, we have to add them up, boys and girls. So we have 80 plus 19. Well, I know 80 plus 10 is 90, and I add my nine ones. That gives me what, everybody? 99. Well, that was totally math-tacular. So the sum of 27, 14, 23, and 35 is 99. Here are some more numbers for us to add for PJ. Let's rock this. Write 11 in expanded form. All right, 11. If I break down the tens and ones, I have 10 plus one. Yep. <laughs> Write 36 in expanded form. All right, now I'm breaking down 36 into tens and ones. I have 30 plus six. Awesome sauce. <laughs> yep. I'll write the other two numbers in expanded form for you. 16 is equal to 10 plus 6. 22 equals 20 plus 2. Now it's time to group the tens together and group the ones together. That will make adding easier. Group the numbers. Drag all the tens to the first box and all the ones to the second box. All right, let's check it out. Let's find all the tens first. All right, so I have 10. I'm gonna drag it down. Is one in the tens? No, but 30 is. So I bring my 30 over. Six doesn't belong there, but 10 does. So I'm gonna bring the 10 over. And finally, I have room for one more. I have six, 20, and two left. And the 20 is the tens. So I see that all of these numbers have two digits, letting me know that they are tens. Now, single digits are ones. Let's plug those in. I have one, six, six, and two. So here I have my tens, I have my ones. So sweet. The tens are 10, 30, 10, and 20. The ones are one, six, six, and two. Add the tens, then add the ones. All right, let's do it, boys and girls. We have 10 plus 30 is 40. 40 plus 10 is 50. 50 plus 20 is 70. Then I come over to my ones. I have a double fact here. I know six plus six is 12, plus one is 13, plus two is 15. Well, that was totally calculicious. Now 
we are ready to put the tens and the ones together to find the sum. Add 70 and 15 to find the sum. All right, our last one, 70 plus 15. I have 70, I add 10, which is 80, and then I add my five, which comes to 85. Yep, so the sum of 11, 36, 16, and 22 is 85. before we can call it a day. This one's all you. Find the sum. All right, boys and girls, are you ready? We have 15 plus 13 plus 18 plus 11. So what we've learned is to add our tens first. So that's what we're going to do. 10, 20, 30, 40. All right, so I know my tens that I have a answer of 40. Now I have to add it to my ones. Let's go back and add up our ones. Five plus three is eight. Eight and eight is 16. 16 plus one is 17. So now I have to add 40 plus 17. I know 40 and 10 is 50 plus seven is 57. Right, a roo. The sum of 15, 13, 18, and 11 is 57. Uh, redecorating much? Yeah, I like this look a lot. I think I'm gonna stick with it. <laughs> uh Good job, boys and girls. Now remember to practice.